Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I'm sorry for not posting for quite a while. I've been on vacation and thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. And in order to thank you guys, I, I'm doing a 100 Robux giveaway. So in order to join this giveaway, make sure to join my Roblox group, which will be linked in the description. And join the Discord, also link in the description. And then you could join the giveaway in my Discord server. So now that that's been said, let's get right into the video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a slide in Roblox Studio with the animation. So the first thing that we need for the slide is actually an animation. So in order, so in order to do the animation, we press avatar, rig builder, and I will generate an R15 rig and a block avatar. <clears throat> so here we have our rig. And over here, we have the animation editor. So now that we have this, I'll make a very simple animation, which is just put this guy like this and just move him down so that he's lying down on the floor here. So I'll set the animation priority to an to actually action. You can you also should move a piece of every body part as well. And this is so that it doesn't move while the animation is playing because when the animation plays and we don't move these, it will just start moving and it'll know and it won't look good. And I'll publish this to Roblox. I'll call this slide, submit, and now you just open it up, copy the ID in the browser, it'll be at the top, and once we've done that, we're actually going to go to starter player, starter characters, starter character scripts, here we're going to add in a local script. Now what we're going to do is delete this because we don't need it. We're going to do local user input service is equal to game get service user input service. Now what this will do is allow us to grab the key that we're pressing, which will be C. And then I will do local character is equal to script.parent because in a character script the script will actually be so basically when we put our script into starter character scripts this script will be in our character so in order to return our character we just do script.parent now we will do local animation is equal to instance.new animation we will do it animation dot animation id is equal to paste our id and actually we will have to do rbx asset id colon slash slash now we will do user input service dot input began colon connect function and then we will do input now what we will do now what we will do is if input is equal equal to enum.keycode.c then we can also do or input is equal to enum.keycode.control left dot left control then so basically what this will do is if we press c or if we press control then we will do now we will do local animation play is equal to character dot humanoid colon load animation and then animation now what this is doing is we actually have to load our animation which is this one into our into our humanoid so that we could actually play it 
and now we just do animation play play now before we do this i'm gonna do a quick cooldown which is local debounce is equal to false then here i'm gonna do if debounce is equal to false then here i'm gonna do debounce is equal equal to true wait one second and then debounce is equal to false and i actually realized i made another mistake it's actually input dot key code and not just input so now after we wait one second we'll actually animation play stop and we'll wait just another second so that we add a cooldown So here, if we press C, we slide for a second. As we can see, we slide and it works, but we're not actually moving or anything because when we slide, you know, we have to actually like be propelled forward and not just stay in the same thing. So how we do this is we will do local velocity is equal to instance.new body velocity to velocity dot velocity is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector so that we will fly wherever we're facing and now we will do velocity dot parent is equal to character dot humanoid root part and what i forgot to do was velocity dot max force is equal to in is equal to vector three dot new one zero zero times three thousand five thousand and and i'll actually times this by i think maybe 500 to make it a bit faster and over here we'll do velocity dot uh, destroy colon velocity colon destroy so that once we slide it stops moving us and we don't just keep on moving you know and I'll actually time this by 50,000 instead because I think 5,000 is a bit of a low number so here we go whoa whoa we can see that that's a bit too much. I think I'll times this by 50, maybe 100. So just play around with the numbers and see how it how it is for you. That's a bit too much, maybe. And I think that it's only putting us on these two sides. So I think we have to put one here so that it's on each side of the axes. so here we go here we are we have our little slide and i'm just going to decrease this to something like 2500 25,000, not 2500 so there we go we have our little slide here now you can play around with the, with the numbers for me it's a bit too much but you could decrease increase the numbers however you like so yeah here we go a nice slide with an animation and a body velocity so we can move around so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to like this video and subscribe and if you have any problems with the video if you have any questions make sure to join my discord server in the description and also don't forget to join my don't forget to join my giveaway if you would like to have a chance to get 100 robux for free so i'll see you in the next video